Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to our channel The Khan's Creation. Today we are visiting the Pygmy Zoo in Ajman. So that is where we are heading now. We have arrived at our destination. So here we are at Al Zora Marina 1 which is again a very beautiful place you can also get a boat from here which is very cheap and then can give you the tour of Alzora nature reserves so here we are at the entrance of UA Pygmy Zoo the timings for this park is from 1 pm till 10 pm and the cost for this park entry is only 5 dirhams per person. And there is my beautiful family. The park looks empty now because we are the first customers but um, it gets really busy in the evening. But it's quite nice to visit in the winter as um, it is not very hot and the weather is really pleasant. The word pygmy basically means something which is under the height of 1.5 meters. Let's start off with the bird who cannot fly, of course the ostrich. On the other hand they had gazelles oryx, goats and don't forget all of their babies which was very very cute. The best thing about the zoo is the place. Every animal has got enough space and the area is well maintained and clean. Hello Mr. Lama. So that was the end of the first area. Moving on, this is what the rest of the zoo looks like. So let's move on to the bird area. Here you can find all the different types of birds like pigeons, peacocks, parrots, sparrows, quinch, roosters, chicken, turkey, you name it they've got it and my favorite of them all was these adorable chicks. This area was really special because it has got a lot of visitors attention. It was the dog, puppies and the owls area. After 4 in the evening, under the supervision, they let out all the dogs and the puppies to play with. The kids were mostly excited about this one, the husky. Apart from her attractive beauty, she was very playful and kind. Hi, what's your name? My name is Dr. Alex. Okay, so do you take care of him? Yeah. What's his name? His name is uh, Lucy. Okay, hi Lucy. Lady husky. That's Husky, yeah? Yes, that's okay. And uh, she's having two years of age. Oh, she's of two years age. Yeah. She's so beautiful. Yeah. What does she eat? different things like uh, we give them some wet food and dry food okay so food, sometimes we provide soup chicken soup uh -huh. these kind of stuff all right thank you so much bye bye See you.
Now this is where the fun begins. With an additional cost of only 5 dirhams, you can literally feed any animal you like. From cows to camels to bunny rabbits, tortoise, buffalo, even the gorgeous colorful macaw. Yes, you heard it right. They had a beautiful selection of gold and blue macaws, followed by the yellow crested cockatoo and my favorite one was the scarlet macaw. The zoo is filled with all types of midget sized animal which is not only fun to watch for the kids but for adults too. And of course the zoo isn't complete without this naughty little monkey and the mighty vulture. Another best attraction was these cute little bunnies. They were each put into a basket and then handed over to the kids to play with them or to feed them. I think this place will give a very good hand-on experience of the animals to the kids. Now last but not the least, the horse riding. So the kids can choose between the horse or a pony to ride with and the cost for this is only 10 dirhams. In the evening, the place gets a bit crowded so I would recommend you guys to come in the afternoon. Alright folks, it's time to go back. I just want to say a huge thank you for watching my video. We really enjoyed the place and I am sure you will do too. If you're not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.